A very welcome. We are here with 17th of April Scholarly Blessing. Have you ever imagined that whomsoever keep in our heart that being or that thing is always remembered? It's very easy to remember those things and that is known as remembrance and that is known as yoga in simple terms as for Bhagavad Gita. So are you in yoga or union or remembrance of people and things or are you in union of God? So when you remember people and things, you obviously have certain expectations from them or fear from them or you have some form of dependency on them and that is where we become weaker. So here God is trying to make us more stronger and he says, may you sit the comforter of hearts in your heart. Who's that? Creator, God. He's the only one who can give you the comfort of your heart. When people, when situations, when things and even money, even your health has not supported you at that time it is comfort of hearts who can give you the comfort and give you the knowledge and give you the guidance of how things are going to become better in the future so god says may you set the comforter of hearts in your heart as an easy yogi and become an image that attracts attracts what the good things in your life attracts the good situations attracts even other souls who are looking for peace and love and happiness so when you have God in your heart, automatically everybody gets attracted to you. But if you don't have God in your heart, the devil is sitting in your heart, then everybody gets repulsed by you and you feel lonely in your life. So God says to give your heart to the comforter of hearts means to sit him in your heart. And whomsoever is sitting in your heart, it's not that somebody is physically sitting. You understand that, right? That means your feelings are attached to that thing or person or entity. Then that thing or person or entity is remembered. This is called easy yoga. So if you want to have remembrance of God, make him sit in your heart. Have feelings for him, not just thoughts. Wherever your heart goes, your head intellect will also go to that one. That means wherever your feelings are attached, your intellect, your thoughts will keep on remembering those things or that person or that entity. You have given your heart and your head, that is your awareness, thoughts and powers to the father. That my Godfather, my Creator, my head, my heart, my thoughts, my awareness and my powers are all yours because you have given me, them to me. Therefore, you belong to the Father and your mind, words and actions too. And so there is no margin of any type of thoughts to come or for any type of attraction elsewhere. So problems can attract us, right? Any negative situation can attract us and especially during Kali Yuga, negative situations attract us more. It gets into gossip, turns into complaining, blaming, or turns into overthinking and turns into focusing on somebody else's life instead of your own life, which is so precious. And that's why God says, when you've given your mind, intellect and powers to God, then nothing else should enter it. You don't have time to think about wasteful thoughts. You don't have time to think about what's happening in somebody's life or how somebody is doing bad karma or somebody is getting more popular or somebody is getting less popular. That's none of our concern. God says, dreams also come on this basis. If you got impure thoughts, then someday or the other in your dreams you'll have impure thoughts or you'll see yourself doing impure activities. And that is a vision which you get. That means dreams also are telling you what is the state of your mind, what is the state of your heart. When you have said everything is yours, God's, even this body, even the things around, the clothes and the money and things, everything is yours, even the kids, even the parents, even the family members, even the wife and the husband, everything is yours. Children are yours. Then there cannot be any other attraction. And those things cannot attract you, right? Because it's somebody else's. It's God's. God is the owner of all those things. And how can we say that they are mine? You will then easily become an image that attracts all. That means anybody who doesn't need anything in their life is the most attractive person. And people fear whom? Who has a lot of greed and who has a lot of wants and desires in their mind. So, how do you become something who is or someone who is less attracted to things around and who is more attractive to others is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. Do visit a center nearby you. Om Shanti.